iNews Views, November 2nd. Believe what you like, but don't believe everything you read without questioning it. Pauline Baines. The United Nations is being courted by South Korea to host an office within the envisioned Peace and Ecological Park inside the DMZ. There are currently four UN offices in New York, Geneva, Vienna, and Nairobi. Asia is not represented, and the South Korean and Kyungi provincial governments are poised to have dialogue with North Korea about establishing the Peace Park and hosting the UN office. President Park's Dresden Initiative seeks to build trust with the reclusive regime in the North and boost the economic conditions there. China and Russia would also need to be involved. Experts see no security threat to the North and are hopeful that the UN office can be built. An SAT cheating scandal has once again been uncovered in South Korea. Administrators of the SAT college entrance test reported that scores are being withheld from students in China and South Korea because of suspicions of cheating that are based on specific, reliable information. The company said that organizations sought to illegally obtain test materials for their own profit and to the ultimate detriment of all students. They are referring to SAT brokers and test preparation companies in South Korea. Chinese students generally travel to other countries to take the SAT since it is rarely offered within China. ETS, the Educational Testing Service, reported that scores would be available for students by mid-November for use by colleges in determining admissions. India has an unenviable record for couples sharing housework. Men in India rarely assist their spouses in cleaning up around the house and cooking. Even highly educated Indian women are discouraged from working outside the house by in-laws and husbands, so they have more time to do household chores. This culture has reduced the number of women working outside the home throughout India, but especially in urban areas where 64% work at home, since no other family members will carry out the domestic duties. China is doing to Korea what Korea did to Japan. They are overtaking Korean companies in manufacturing in most industries where Korea is the world leader. Mobile phones, displays, ships, machinery, petrochemicals, steel, and textile industries are all enjoying rapid expansion in China, with Korean companies beginning to feel the pinch. Many analysts believe that China is still two or three years away from matching Korea in some heavy equipment and five years away from overtaking Korea in the high-end smartphone market. Airplane seats are getting skinnier so airlines can squeeze more passengers and revenue into every flight. Leg room has decreased from 33 inches to 30 inches on some flights. This new denser seating will increase competition for overhead compartment storage space and elbow and knee room on long flights. Seoul's Lantern Festival begins on November 7th and will run through the 23rd. Traditions from the glorious Joseon past, the habits and lifestyles of ancient Koreans, and kimchi making will be featured along with a captivating display of color and lights.